Welcome back guys, my name's Sandy, this is Sawing with Sandy. Just made my way out here with my Coyote tractor. Always a nice afternoon when you can get outside, get some fresh air, and especially when you can make your way out to a sawmill like the one behind me. Now we are in the midst of another warm up, which is a little bit scary, because if you look up there, look at that snow load, right about ready to let go. Once that lets go, it's gonna be heading right back down here. And if you would have seen recently, I just cleared this out. So I gotta probably get back in here as soon as that snow load lets go and that reminds me i better move my boardwalk because if you've been around the channel for some time you would have seen that boardwalk take a bit of a beating at times when that snow comes off and hits it anyways i'm gonna paint a little bit of a picture for you guys here so imagine myself last night lying in bed just getting ready to shut the light off and i had an idea and you guys might do the same this idea was about my sawmill because the truth is i'm often thinking about the sawmill and it was something that you guys had brought up uh, several times in the comments, but I hadn't really figured out how to put it into action. The idea that is. So last night I'm lying there and I get that idea. I run over, jot it down, and that's where we're at today. Heading inside here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make life just a little bit easier for myself. At least that's my hope. Because in the winter time, I get all my logs piled up on my log deck. Then the snow hits it and then it freezes. and. Well, I'm out here fighting in all this deep snow and you guys can see here, like it's way over my boots here. So I'm fighting out here in the snow. I'm fighting the logs to try to get them out from under the snow. And while I'm out here as well, if you guys have a look up there, I'm also kind of in a precarious position with the snow load overhanging the roof there. So I'm gonna try to eliminate all this sort of fussing around in the snow with a winch that I'm gonna mount up there on my sawmill deck or my sawmill bed that I can then run a winch line out, tuck underneath the log, crank on that hand winch and pull the logs up onto the sawmill. That's my idea. I've got a whole bunch of material that I drummed up from inside my shop. We're gonna put some things into, into motion today. Hopefully this works. I've seen it work before because Woodland Mill sells one of these units, but I haven't seen it work exactly in my application. So we'll, we'll give it a go. Hope for the best, glad you guys are here. Let's go. All right, first things first. Let's get the old trusty sawmill out of the way. I've been out here recently cutting some spruce. You guys would have seen me doing that if you've uh, stuck around the channel for a little bit. I'm gonna put a post in just a second, right in this location, right where the existing, holy, it's stuck to the floor, frozen. Right where the existing log stop sits, and then from this, I'm going to mount my hand winch. And the winch I'm talking about, I'll just go show you guys. It's just over here. It's the type you would use on the front of like a boat trailer. I had this thing kicking around. Don't know where I got it. Maybe Princess Auto here in Canada or Harbor Freight in the U.S. Uh, this is what I'm going to use. Now, it came with a steel cable, and that's what the rating is for on the side. 1,200 pounds for that steel cable. But I thought to myself, you know what? I don't always have gloves out here, so I don't want to be dealing with a steel cable because if you've ever gotten a, a, what do you call it, a nick from a steel cable, it's like a needle going in your hand. I don't want to deal with that. So what I'm going to put on that is this stuff, and this just isn't any type of rope. This is actually winch cable, a synthetic winch rope, I guess they call it. It came off an ATV winch that uh, I no longer used. So I'm going to put this onto that winch, and then we're going to use... This pole here that I just dug out of the snow bank in my handy dandy scrap pile. We're going to put this into that location I showed you where the log stop goes, mount the winch to it, put that synthetic rope in the winch, and hopefully make this thing work. But this whole process will not work unless this steel pipe fits in that log stop hole. And I'm thinking it will. It's looking good. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Why I wanted to use this was because then if I wanted to stiffen up the, the winch a little bit, I just tighten that and now it's nice and firm. Now, got to keep this in mind here. That's putting an awful lot of leverage, the top of this, on my sawmill bed. So I don't want to be hauling on that thing. If I'm going to end up having to haul on it, I'm probably going to go out with my cant hook, break it loose and then use the winch to pull the log up the rest of the way. If I really haul on this, that's gonna potentially torque the bed of my sawmill, and that's gonna throw everything off, and I'm gonna wish I never did this. So that's that. I've already got holes here. I'm gonna put some bolts in here, put the winch on, hope for the best.
Can't forget the sludge. And I made these guys with some scrap wood I had up at the shop. These are just extra stickers. We'll load over in the lumber shed. Okay, so I think the idea is I can stand back here and crank it. And I just want to think which hand I'm going to use here. Probably doesn't really matter. Actually, it should be mounted like this according to the bolt holes, so we'll go with that. Get these mounted on. Alright. This is not the way. First nut, you drop it. And you guys might be like me, I just have a random bucket of hardware and whatever ends up on whatever project, that's how it goes. I don't get to the store too. I don't get to the store too often to replace my hardware. Can't remember what fits what. As I said, this is just random hardware, so the sizing is different for every pair. sludge break I'm not sure how long this is because I did break it once funny enough I don't know what this is rated at but I did break it one time so I'm not sure what this is for length but I think we will try it anyways how this is supposed to go I think like this and we'll tie it good enough yeah, technically it's supposed to fit right in there but that was with the steel cable and I don't have a screwdriver I don't think what do you guys think nah, it's not gonna hold I think we're just gonna tie it Keep in mind what's really going to hold it. Uh, that's not gonna. Oh yeah, that'll work. What's really gonna hold it is when it wraps itself on the on the uh, drum. Okay, well I'm not gonna go ahead and put it all on there. We've put a good chunk on, and obviously when I get ready to pull a log, there's not gonna be uh, the log rolling backwards. I hope. But if there is, I've got the uh, I've got the uh, lock on there, so it'll only allow me to take the cable in or rope in this case. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. That's what I meant. I can lock it in place, pull it in, but you can't pull it out. So let's go wrap this around a log and see if this is actually going to work.
bit of a learning curve. There we go. All right, that's that. All right guys, well, there you have it. That's my very first use of my little winch setup. This cost me absolutely nothing because I had all this stuff lying around. It's quite nice using this, uh, this synthetic rope uh, as opposed to a steel cable. If you have the opportunity to use one of these, I would say go for it. I don't even know if you need a winch line like this. You could probably get away with some, some tough rope because you're not putting a heck of a lot of force on this. If you are, you gotta really take a step back. If you're cranking on that thing just to get the log broken loose, because it was frozen or hung up. You gotta pay attention to that because you might inadvertently bend this down here and wouldn't that be a heck of a time. You get the log up onto the log bunks, but uh, you end up bending your sawmill. So take a step back if that's the case. In terms of this setup here, this steel post, I don't even know if I need it. I could probably get away with a piece of hardwood if I had it and uh, just secure the winch to it that way. I'd have to try it out just to see. Um, this steel post is the exact same dimensions as your as your log stop. This is an inch and a half by an inch and a half. Uh, definitely worked well. To get this set up, the hardest thing was probably drilling the holes with my old rusty uh, drill bits in the in the steel there and getting the uh, getting the winch line on. But other than that, very first effort, I think it turned out pretty well. One thing you would have noticed is I got my cant hook and I went out here into the into the log pile to start to break loose the log. With all that melting and thawing that we've had recently, that log was frozen. If I tried to haul on it, who knows what I might have done to that, uh, that sawmill because of the leverage of that steel post. Broke it loose, used the winch to pull it the rest of the way. Definitely saved me a bit of time because normally I'd be going left and right and up and down and trying to fight this log onto the mill uh, to get it centered. Now with that in mind, you would have seen me reworking or repositioning this rope. I had to do that a few times because if we look at where the center of the log deck is, that's where I'd like to have the rope around the log, but that does not line up with where my actual winch is. I can't change that unless I actually move the base of my sawmill, which I'm not going to do at this point. So if you're planning to use one of these, think about that so that it lines up perfectly with your log deck. The alternative is I move the log deck over a bit that's another big effort so we'll see if we can make it work like this little rejigging of the rope wasn't a big deal anyways if you guys have any questions about this setup let me know down below in the comments i know some of you guys have probably gotten one of these from woodland mills they look like a great alternative so maybe down the road i'll compare theirs versus mine but for now that'll definitely work and just before we go let's just have one quick look at it so you guys can get a good idea what i did just wrap the rope on ran some bolts through the steel and mounted it down below here and on that point just got a thought that happens to me from time to time this setup where i had the ring on the end of the rope and then i had to pull the pull the post out and run the uh, ring around the bottom of the post and put it back i don't know if i'll keep that time will tell whether it works for me might end up just putting some sort of a hook like this somewhere i don't know down below on this post and then i just come around and hook it on but anyways that's it you guys all take care out there be well subscribe see you next time